We'll guide you through how to use the Files app on an iPhone. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. The Files app is super useful, so let's guide you through how you can go and use it. First of all, you need to go and find it. By default, it should be on the second page of your phone here. If you're struggling to find it, you can always drag down and go and search for it, and then we can go and open it up. So at the bottom, you've got these three options. Recents, Shared and Browse. Recents will include downloaded files and files you've recently saved. You've got Shared, so if somebody shared files with you, they'll appear here and you've then got Browse. Browse is where you'll probably be using it most. So you can go and click on Browse again to get back to the main Browse page. You may need to click it multiple times. At the top here, you've then got your locations, which is probably where we're going to be mainly focusing on. Tap on it to expand it if you can't see it. You've got on my iPhone, Google Drive, because I've got the Drive app, same for OneDrive, then iCloud Drive and recently deleted. So if you go into on my iPhone, you should then see your files here. If you're looking for your downloads, there'll be a downloads folder you can click on to explore. What you can do is go to the top right and click on the three dots. Up there, you can go and select files. You can go and create a new folder, scan documents, and you can go and connect to a server if you wish. The rest of the options are view settings and they'll adjust how they go and appear. Let's say you've got and found a file. You can just go and tap on it to go and view it. Of course, depending upon the file will look different. This is the document. Then alternatively, you can click and hold your finger on it and you'll have these different options. At the top, you can copy it, you can move it and you can share it. And you then got some more options as well. So for example, you could go and create a new folder with the item if you want to. Let's say you wanted to share it though, you could click there and the share menu will pop up and you could go and message it to somebody, put it in, into an email, etc. And so that's it. That is how you can go and use the Files app. It's really useful. If you found this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video.